All right, y'all. I thought it would be fun to get ready together because I don't know. I haven't done like a get ready with me in a while, and I do have some new products to try because I went to the cosmetics company store. So let's get into it. y'all like my simple am morning skincare routine so i already toned my face i used the beekman milkshake toner that you shake my spray um i'll probably picture it up here and then i go in with only two products and so the first one is the mac hyper real serumizer i love this this is so pretty on the skin and it's quite expensive but i'm gonna hold it up and try to show y'all do y'all see the little reflex in there? It gives the skin such a glow. It is so pretty on the skin. Okay, so I totally missed that piece. There we go. It feels so good on the skin. It's hydrating. It gives the skin such a good glow. It's quite pricey, which is why I um only use it in the daytime <laughs> because it's good. But they do actually sell this and the balm at the cosmetic company store, so you can get it at a discount. Um, but I didn't buy it because I just have the serum. And then um, I'll go in with my sunscreen, which is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I've been wearing this for I think a couple weeks now. I really like it. It's clear. It's kind of like a, it feels like those um, Makeup Forever primers or Smashbox primers. The silicone ones, like the photo finish, if you can remember those, it feels like that. Or it feels like um, the Urban Decay All Nighter Glowy one. It feels like that. But this is a good sunscreen. It says to apply this every two hours. And that it is a, it is a good makeup primer. So we're actually gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna do, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do a primer today. So next I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Key Largo Drops, y'all. I cannot do my makeup without these now. I use the shade, um, I think Deep Bronze, but let me look. Yeah, deep bronze glow. I love these all over the skin. Like I can't, I can't do my day to day makeup or my regular makeup without these lately. It just gives the skin a nice glowy tint to work with. My, my face matches my body pretty much from my vacation tan. So yeah, that's like my prep. And then let's get into base. So today I picked up the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. And it's in the shade Mocha 10.5, I think. So let's give this an open. Pretty looks. Mm -hmm. And when I take it off, it looks like this. I don't know how much to go into it with. So I'm just gonna. Okay, it feels good. I feel like this could be enough. And I'm gonna sprinkle it in. Today I have church and then I'm taking my best friend to lunch. And we're going to like this book fair or whatever, I don't know. So, I like it. I feel like is there? I don't know. It is traceless. It's like it's traceless. You can't really see it, and it's like going on 
like skin. This is pretty. So this regular price retails is $90. I got it at the cosmetic company store for $45, half price. It's definitely worth $45. I don't see myself paying $100, but my skin looks good. It looks really good. So I really like that. And then I also bought a concealer, which is the Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Concealer. And I bought the shade Ginger Snap. And yeah, yeah. Let's get into the packaging. It's so cute. I love the Too Faced packaging. Love the cap. Like, it's just the cutest little thing. So, and this is how the applicator looks. If y'all can see it. I wonder if they're trying to like do their own version of the makeup by Mario Surreal Skin, uh, you know, concealer. The only thing, it's like the brush does not pick up a lot of product. Like I get that we're in the less is more era, but I need more product than that. Let's see. I'm going to use the same brush because I kind of just want to not go with a sponge. Sorry about my background. My whole family is home. is Sunday. So, welcome to um. This is pretty. I do like this. I do like this, but I feel like I need more. Cause I still feel like my eyes are still hollowed out. But I like the reflex. Like I can see. Like my whole face has is reflective. Let's see what this layer does. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I want to go right here, y'all. Like right here. And it's like I'm I'm applying a little product. Like I know it seems like I'm applying a lot, but it's really not a lot coming out. So it's easy to like build up and get like really targeted to see how you want it to look. And now I'm happy with it. Like, I feel like I like the way this looks. I look healthy, I look glowy. I like that. And then I'm gonna go in with my, is it in here? I wanna go in, oh, the cap came off. That's gonna be a huge red. I didn't unpack my makeup from vacation, so I'm paying the price. But then with my Tarte Contour Wand uh, in Sculpt Tape, this is Deep Bronze. And it's gonna look like I'm applying a lot, but this really shears out to like almost nothing, so. You can go pretty heavy handed with this one. I 
I have a pink shirt and skirt to wear, but I kind of just want to wear blue. But I don't have a lot of blue. And my blue dress that I picked up from TJ Maxx, I'm saving for another day. Yeah. Not pretty. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to go back in with my concealer brush and just kind of marry the two in this area. Make sure there's no harsh lines. My eyes need a little help because like I was up reading. Y'all, I'm reading that book. First Lie Wins. I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to read a couple chapters and go to bed. <sighs> they know how to get you. They really know how to get you. Um... So yeah, I ended up reading to it. I don't know. I know they're page 70. So I was just like, girl. Girl, girl, girl. I feel like my um hourglass uh powders might go better with this type of product, but I just kind of want to see what'll happen. So I'm gonna go in with my um, one size translucent powder mixed with my Ben Nye Pretty Pink Powder, and this makes my perfect little powder shade. And I think I'm gonna use one of my powder puffs. So I don't want a lot of product makeup. Let's go ahead and give that a set down. Pretty. But you see what I mean? Like, I feel like the powder just took the light away, like the reflex, because like now it's pretty matted out. With the hourglass, it just kind of like marries the two and it enhances and it doesn't matte it out like these do. But I'm um, oily combination, so the glow will be back. Trust and believe. But that's pretty, it sets really nice. Because I feel like my um, Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer does not sit well with these type of powders because I feel like the Reflex are even chunkier, like almost leaning towards glitter, micro glitters. So this one is like, it's like, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain. It's like, it's like fine, like what's in here. Like you can barely see the Reflex. It's very pretty. Okay, step that. And then now we're gonna go in with bronzer. Or do I wanna do liquid blush? Let's do liquid blush. This is my favorite one. This is the Makeup Revolution uh, Super Dewy Liquid Blush in the shade. What is this shade? I don't know y'all like this pinky color. I'm still gonna go in with it because it's literally, quite literally my favorite. Quite literally my favorite. And it's not a dull foot, it's like a targeted, uh, it's like a little like paint, paint thing. how pretty it is it is so pretty okay and then bronzer powder bronzer i've been loving my juvia's place bronzed i use tan and I'll go in with the the dark one and then some of this one
this looks good. I contour with the um, lighter one because I don't like to manipulate my features too much. Okay, powder and blush. I'm gonna go in with my Patrick Ta, my favorite, favorite, favorite by him. I don't think he offers these anymore. This is the She Seductive Monochrome Moment, the velvet blushes that he used to do. And he stopped doing them. But I feel like if makeup trends keep going the way they've been going, he'll have no choice but to bring these back because I don't know if y'all noticed, but we're moving away from the dewy skin, everything in the publications, like in the magazines, in the you know photos everybody's looking kind of kind of matte lately I think that you know we're getting back to our senses but i don't think it'll ever be like super matte you know like 2016 type makeup i don't think we'll ever get back to that like that was that was extreme but the highlighters are coming back everybody got a, a highlighter but they're calling them low lighters or filters i don't know it's just like girls the highlighter but so I think that slowly but surely, we are, you know, realizing we can't be walking around in a skin tint for the entire day. But I will say like this era of makeup, the skin tint era, is definitely easier to like get and ready in the day. It's like you use that balm Wash your face a couple times and your face is good. I love this. Like when I have a, like a low maintenance brow day, this is the milk. What is this called? This is the milk um, gel brow. So easy and just so like you get color, but it's, you don't have to do a lot. And like, I'm happy with, with that. Um, why does it sound like there's a storm? Is that it? Did I use everything? Oh, I bought a new makeup. Uh, Better Than Sex mascara. I haven't been doing a lot of shadow lately. And I kind of don't want to today. I just kind of leave everything like it is. I could put a little shadow in my crease. What's left over on my contour nose brush. That's it. That's it. That's all I've been doing. Ooh, a fresh one. Fresh one. Look at that. This looks good. I love this mascara. This is going to be in my room with my everyday makeup mascara because is this like the only mascara that makes me look like I have lashes? This and that it cosmetics. Hero. I just hate the packaging of that hero one. I do want to do a little bit of a highlight. Let's do the Rare Beauty. I don't have her new blush toppers because I feel like I already have this and just putting it on top of my blush gives me what she came out with. So I'm gonna go in with Mesmerize, which is her pinky tone highlight. And I'm gonna go right on top of the apples of my cheeks so that when I smile, they are reflective. One thing about me, I'm gonna smile. I'm gonna smile. And I'm gonna laugh. Yeah, see? For lips, I feel like I'm gonna do this cork. No, this is chestnut. This is Mac chestnut. I'm gonna do Mac chestnut. If I wear the outfit I'm wearing, I should do pink. But I still just don't want to do that. Should I set my face? I feel like I feel like my face is kind of getting creasy. I need 
Brooklyn or something. Look at my MAC lipstick, because you gotta pick up every freaking one of them. Is Brooklyn in here? This Brooklyn? Bronx. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> I want to do Bronx. And where is. There she is. I'm going to do Bronx and um, makeup by Mario Nude Glow. Bronx looks like this. It's like a 90s. You get what I'm saying? Like a 90s grunge. I've been into that again. Isn't that pretty? Almost gray. Then I'm gonna go in with the nude glow. These are the serum uh, plumpers, I think. I don't know what they're called. Plumping lip serums. This is gonna give me my, my shine. These are so messy. And I'm ready, y'all. This is what I'm gonna do. I feel like I kind of wanna set my face a little bit with the um, what's this called? The Mac uh, Mineral Light Skin Finish, and I am just like the outer region where I have smile lines and talking lines, cause this is a this big foundation, so I do feel like it needs to be set. And I use the shade um, Dark Deep in the Mineral Eye Skin Finish. It looks like that. Okay, I'm through, I'm through, I'm through, I'm through, I'm through. I hope it isn't super long, because the girls don't watch Get Ready With Me anymore. Um, I'll show you guys the outfit and fragrance. And then... I'll let you go. Okay. I'm pretty much dressed. I'm gonna do these. And my Tory Birch wallet bag. In black. I probably should get my case bag because I need my Bible. I have my Bible bag, but okay. All right, y'all. Let's see. I'm gonna do the um, vanilla musk perfume oil on my wrist and neck. And then the fragrance I want to wear is, I'm gonna wear the Gucci floral fragrance. This is a little like sample because I'm, I'm debating. Jewelry. I'm gonna do my gold house of Harlow's and my M necklace. My Apple Watch is already by the bed, so I'm rushing now. I'm here. Go. I got these House of Harlow earrings from TJ Maxx. When we were on vacation, they're super cute. And I never take off my picture first, but um, I'll show you guys in a minute. All right, here I am. It's my outfit. I'm about to leave. All right, y'all. I just want to do a check in. This is how my makeup is looking. It still looks really good. I do have like a slight glow in here, but that's from like the highlight, I think. It looks good. It looks good. We're about to go to the little book fair. Me and my best friend. 
and I'm just wearing a little graphic tank and crossbody and leggings and sandals. You guys check out all the books I got from the book fair. A lot of mysteries and thrillers and suspense. I think this one's a uh, science fiction. Yeah. But I just wanted to close this out. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.